I could do it now, but who wants to do that? Or head back to town now. But I'll wait. Wind, what is that? Wind Raptor? It's like a raptor, but with wings. And a gun. There's a quest giver here. What's up? Stand back! I'm burning the shack down. My family does not need to suffer any longer in this horrible world. Is there any of your family in there? Are you insane? Stay out of it. It's for the best. Look, things are bad, but we can't lose hope. What hope is there? Good people are dying, and the world is overrun with monstrosities we used to spook our children with. I will not have my family suffer any longer. I come from Devil's Crossing. It's safe there. Safe? What's safe anymore? We were safe out here once, too. Look at this place now. We defend it. There is shelter and drinking water. Please join us. Perhaps this is the fresh start we needed. I really hope you speak the truth. All right, take us there. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, if you're going to, like, kill your family, I mean, first of all, probably don't. But, I mean, if you're absolutely dead set on doing that, maybe not burn to death. Like, that seems a really not fantastic way to do it. Because burning to death seems really unpleasant. Of the various ways to die. That's fairly high on the list of how I don't want to die. Falling to your death. Another one that would totally not be cool. Killed by small stinging insects like bees or ants. Fairly high on the list. Like these things. Royal jelly. Ah. So, a crafting thing, most likely. Let's finish exploring down here. I wouldn't say this is desert-like, like in Diablo. I mean, it's just kind of autumn. Autumn-y. has a very autumn... Has an autumn taste to it. I like autumn. It's maybe one of my, probably my favorite season, maybe. Partially because I like autumn decorations, like you know what I mean, like the kind of the brown and orangish leaves, leaves and. Kind of Thanksgiving decor. I like I like that kind of stuff. Also, there's Halloween, which, funny enough, I like Halloween, but I don't really like do anything. I don't get dressed up. But I like it regardless. I like to see other people dress up. And also buy you know a bunch of discount candy. Skylord. You the Skylord of Jack and shit just Oh nope, he's still alive. Oh. Oddly enough, he's probably resistant to lightning. That skill's not ready. Ooh, some golem looking things. Oh, he was pretty resistant. Ah, he doesn't take much physical damage. I I'm guessing. Ooh, that actually hurt. I like the way the constitution system works. I think that's really interesting. It's a it's an interesting way of balancing the like auto regenerating health. I don't think I've ever seen a system like that before. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like purple and green, but I don't know if I'd want to decorate a like a room that way. I don't feel like it's good for rooms. But then again, if I had my dr druthers and like technically I do cuz it's my fucking house. But if I had my druthers, I would paint a lot of the walls like black or dark red because I like darker rooms. But the reason I don't, even though it's my house, is if I want to sell the house, a lot of people would not like that. You there, hear a dying man out, will you? Backstabbed by my partner, only man I thought I could trust on this forsaken hellhole. We were traveling, cart full of scrap we'd salvaged from some run-down homes, but I guess the Bastard decided 
splitting the profits 50-50 just wasn't going to cut it. He jumped me in the middle of the night and stabbed me right in the gut. Made off with all the loot and left me to die out here. If you run, ever run into the man in a patchwork green jacket going by the name Isaiah, cut him down for me. Uh, why don't... He don't suppose he's got too far down the road, pushing the cart by himself. Ah, because here's the cart tracks. Let's go get his ass. I mean, we could probably portal him back or give him a health potion, but I guess we're saving them. We're only, we only have like 99 health potions. We have just as many health potions as we have red balloons. Actually, 99 red balloons, that would be awful. I actually do like purple. I'm a manly man, and I can pull off purple. Hey, kitty. How you doing? She's like, oh, boy, you're using the keyboard. Let me go ahead and sit between you and that. Wouldn't that be awesome? Is this helpful for you? No, kitty. It's actually super not helpful. Okay, well, I'm just going to stay here. Okay, thanks, kitty. You're super helpful. I know. I'm a kitty. I know you are, sweetheart. I picked that up. Uh, is this you, Isaiah? Who the hell are you? What do you want from me? Are you Isaiah? Excuse me. We're having a conversation. Are you Isaiah? I'm here about your partner. That swine isn't dead yet? Let me explain. This is a huge misunderstanding. It always is. Uh, say what you have to say, but make it quick. I don't really care. Give me half the profits and I'll leave this be. Save it. Prepare to face justice. Let's go with uh, say what you had to say and make it quick. Drew is a worthless scum. This mess wasn't about the haul of scrap. The bastard tried to rape my daughter, Josephine, when we were last camped out. I confronted him and he got violent. Rotting out there along the road is the least he deserves for trying to overpower a young girl. Uh, options? I'm sorry I rushed to judgment. Be more careful out there. Just give me Drew's share of the loot and I'll leave you be. Sorry this owl sounds too convenient. Prepare to eat cold steel. Um... I'm going to ask for half the loot. Extortion in. Fine. Take the money and choke on it. Hey, you're lucky I didn't kill you. Because I don't see no daughter around here. You're very lucky. Very, very lucky. I mean, that would have been my next line of question. It's like, okay, well, wait, where is this daughter? Cats like to do useful things. Damn it, cat. Like, now. I can't get to my keyboard. Kitty. Ah, for cat's sakes. I'm helping! You sure are, kitty. Oh, shit, we don't have our buffs. Why you guys didn't mention that? Didn't mention I had my buffs on. You guys have got to... You know you got to babysit. Oh, this guy's level 25. Now he's level 20 dead. Level 20 dead. Because he was 25, but now he's dead. I hit the map, but I can't get my key, my finger to the M key because the cat's in the way. Oh, his daughter's in Homestead. Well, I figured, you know, if he just give me his that half of the profits, if he was an honest person, then uh, he'd have no problem with that. Not really extortion. You're paying what you owe. Coming in, guys. What the? <laughs> Good lord. Those arrows? It's the weirdest sounding arrows ever. Yeah, come on. Go ahead and tunnel down this little narrow staircase. Everything's gonna be fine. Nope, you're fine. Everything's good. Nope, you're not getting murdered in droves, guys. Just shuffle into this narrow pathway. Even though you're ranged. Anything useful up here? Ha! 
<laughs> Many damn undead. That's like a marble floor. How'd you pop out of that? Oh, kitty, are you gonna move now? Oh, okay. Also, how do you catch a skeleton on fire? I don't feel like they'd burn all that well. That skill's not ready. Oh. I love how when the explosions work out well, it looks like the explosions are over and some of the enemies survived, but then that very last round of explosion goes off and then it kills everything else. Got myself into a corner here, which is fine. Totally fine. Nope. You guys about had it. Dementia. Gonna have to get some food. Dust cover journal. Things are starting to get tougher though, that's good. I wish they would have kind of ramped up a little earlier, but. Uh, what was that? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's an offhand. I want to get a nice named rifle. Is that too much to ask for? A nice named rifle with electric electricity damage on it. Those range guys are a pain in the ass. The only thing I'll say about Granados is I wish the range was a little bit bigger. But I mean, it's already really good. I can't really complain. It's already ridiculously awesome. I can't do that yet. Yeah, he is corpse dust. You're right. Wait, did you what? Did you reflect that? Uh, oh, cave. We can go to the cave. Wait, what? Oh, then, well, Melder Wind didn't indicate or anything. Oh, the cat was messing with the mouse cord while you're trying to play Elder Scrolls. Yeah, oh, ghosts. You can freeze ghosts. Nice. Things get sketchy when they hit you, but your damage should be nice. Yeah, they um, they're definitely doing some. De they're doing decent damage finally. <laughs> Backstab with a grenade. Ain't that a bitch? But I'm fine with uh, taking a bit more damage since, well, one, we're not really built to be taking damage. And two, we can use some of our awesome stagger st steppage. Oh, how do you like them apples? Unfortunately for you, you're way faster than your friends. Oh, we got uh, rep with the rovers. Oh, that ghost is still alive. Shooting me off camera. What are you guys thinking? Hey, stop it. Get out of here. Oh, see, alt shows all loot. So if a white item does drop and you want to see it, you can hold alt. Cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do this shrine. I can't do that yet. Get wrecked. Right, this looks bad. I don't think I want to stand in that. There we go. Got a devotion point. 
that we're going to almost certainly use really inefficiently. Uh, anything like shatter on frozen targets? That I do not know. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, devotion. Uh, oh, that's right. I was, I was trying to open up uh, this. Let's see what else that opened up, though. Just out of curiosity. Fire and aether damage. Health regen. Plus 15% constitution. Vitality damage. Oh, that's a grim... Grim Zodiac. It's like, ah, oh, well, there's four stars vaguely in an R pattern. Let's say it's a guy getting hung. That's nice, isn't it? 50% uh, lightning, another lightning damage one. Defensive abilities, physique. What does this one have? This was the Tsunami. This one doesn't actually even have a major thing. Oh, but you get uh, Constellation, you get bonuses for doing those. That's cool. Let's do this one. Cold and Lightning. Build up that lightning damage. Obviously, you don't want to do just, like, one type of damage. Really, I could see building, like, strongly for lightning, but, like, as a fire, as a backup for enemies that are strong against it. I'll use my health potion so it doesn't use my constitution. I mean, that does add... Ooh. That skill's not ready. Oh, you tricky little bastards. Popping up behind me on the bridge? That ain't right. That's dirty pool. You've got ass on the potions. But anyway, I was saying before these buttholes, like, snuck up on me. Was, um... Stop. Was that, uh, I like that... There's that aspect with the way the constitution works. It's like, okay, well, I've taken some health, but I don't want it to eat up my constitution to heal it back up, so I'll use a potion instead. Because at least right now, we've got a million potions. And it feels like the potion uh, respawn, or the reuse, is really low. Like, not even 30 seconds? I just used one a second ago and I can use it again. Ahem. That doesn't tell me. But yeah, I'd say that's about 15 seconds ish. Come on. There is not shattering for frozen targets. Aw. Almost. Not even close. <laughs> How does one catch a ghost on fire? I mean, skeletons on fire. All right, that's weird. Ghosts on fire? Come on, game. I believed everything that's happened in this game up to this point. But ghosts on fire? Come on now. Uh-huh, you little sneaky. Never trust the undead. And, but the health potions don't heal that much either. So I guess that's that. That's another balancing aspect, right? Is that the heal, healing potions don't actually heal very much. Oh, 25 seconds on cooldown on the potion. Oops. <laughs> I missed her completely and hit another person. Awesome. Just like I planned. We are the haunted champions, my friend. Stand in that. Okay. Ah! Oh, traitor! Why did I listen? What a fool I was. Ooh. Boros. About to be bare assed. I don't know. Ah, fucking. My energy bastard. is low. 
Your fucking face is low. Shut up. Get frozen. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Come back. Don't you be leashing on me, bitch. There's no leashing in my world. <laughs> that leash uh, kind of screwed you because I was getting like free hits. Give me that vital essence. My inventory is full. Let's do that. <laughs> I freed up like one slot. My inventory is full. All right. Head back to town. To the Devil's Crossing. Can we rename this Devil's Crossing? Not very inviting. When I say, hey, go back to the Devil's Crossing, you'll be safe. It's like, hey, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Mashed taters. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sling Blade's one of those movies I need to watch like every two years or so. Eh. Negative. Seven percent elemental damage. So I presume that would be all elements. That's pretty damn good. 101 health, 4% spirit, 8 offensive, 18 energy absorbed from enemy spells. We lose a lot of cunning, but I like the health and I like the elemental damage. Let's go with that. Ah, that's too much big damage. Hits. Now, movement speed actually would be good for a ranged character like this, for the stutter stepping and stuff. Uh, gloves. I don't want to lose electrocute damage. That's a big axe. Another helm. I think, oh, wait, that's probably one we just had. No, that's a different one, but I don't like it. Not as big of a fan of that one. So this has a skill on it. 2% chance on attack. Enter a trance of greater understanding. Link channeling arcane forces through your flesh. Uh, 12 second skill recharge. 8 second duration. 50% 50, 50 elemental damage. 10 energy regen per second. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, attack speed would be good just because it is faster. That's true. But I'd rather have flat out damage. Because, too, because most of our damage is coming from the bombs. Like, not from the shots, necessarily. Um, I like that those ghosts drop, the, like, a ghost weapons, though. That's pretty cool. Like, it's actually not, like, this bat dropped the gothic plate of the whale. I kind of want to try these pants on. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the physique for them. I might hold on to him. I kind of want to try that skill. 50% extra elemental damage is pretty dope. Yeah, they dropped all this spectral stuff. That's cool as hell. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold on to those pants. Everything else I'm going to sell. Oh, yeah, and the blueprints. I'll, I'll do the blueprints, too, over, over here. Good thing I remembered that totally myself. Uh, one to six lightning damage... Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I like attack speed and all. But, with our attacks mostly coming from the grenades. Don't sell the pants. Oh, you can use the blueprint from the inventory? Put it to good use. Oh, cool. You learn how to craft Squire's Boots and Glacier. So wait, let me go talk to him anyway. Tinkering is my specialty. You're back. 
Is there any... Oh, that paltry stuff? Busy work. Speak with my apprentice. She handles the menial labor. Your menial Let's labor. Take a look, shall we? All right, so you really can't do much. Oh, oh, the blacksmith. That's not the blacksmith. That's the... I don't know what he is. Uh, that was the sa wait, salvage dealer. What is he? Good price on what I've got left. Right. Oi. Blimey. Put it to good use. Crikey. I've actually forgotten who the smith was. Maybe he's just a regular vendor now. I like to thank you for talking me out of committing the biggest mistake of my life. We were struggling to survive and I got desperate. My family deserves better. Thank you for showing me that hope still remains in this bleak world. I like you to have this. It's a small token of our appreciation. I hope it serves you well. Nice. Uh, 1 to 3 physical damage, 10% physical damage, 128 health. Oh, no, boy, it's delicious. That adds acid damage. 10% damage to bee skin, energy regenerated per second, increased energy regen, elemental resistance. And what was this? There it is. I mean, I like the ten percent physical for sure. The energy regen seems pretty weak, so I'll go with that. Uh, talk to the quartermaster. Okay, he's down here, right? Yeah. Come see what's left of my wares. I'm still. Oh wait, yeah. No, I see. I still only have this stuff for him. I'm not up to respected yet. I can't buy anything else. I've only got those two potion things. Put it to good use. Oh, there's the blacksmith. The can with what I've got. Blacksmith allows you to craft powerful items using the blueprints you've learned of various crafting. Okay. Calamity. Sweet. Oh, it's a relic. And I presume you used a relic on your item? Like you use like a gem or something? Calamity. 5% chance on attack. A burst of searing brimstone erupts from you. Holy shit. Equilibrium. 10%. Oh, 10% elemental damage. It's a relic slot. Oh, I see it. I see it. Right there. I was wondering what that was. I like this one. 10% elemental damage, 20 spirit, 25% of elemental resist. 100% chance when hit by a critical. Overwhelmed or by enemies with your mind. Ah, so if we get critical, we stun targets. Stun and confuse them. That's pretty cool. Glacier does cold damage. Five percent chance of sixty-two piercing damage. Twelve cunning. Four percent attack speed. Rapid strike granted by item. Begin rapidly attacking in the hopes of landing a few stray blows. Basically, Uzi. I like the calamity. Or wait, was it the calamity that I liked? No, it was the other one. Equilibrium. Yeah, let's go with that. Cool. Ooh, and we got an Achievo. Calamity? Really? One to four physical, which, I mean, that's basically might as well be zero. Five percent chance of 40% physical damage. That's pretty good. 10% fire damage. 28 offensive. Um... Five percent chance on attack for the brimstone. We don't attack that much or that quickly. I don't know. Well, I uh, I might make it. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'll make it. And if I don't like it, I'll switch to the other one. 
I'm not too worried about Bring me back any blueprints wasting want. money and stuff. Got something you need stashed? Yeah, I need to stash. Yo, mama. This is why I'm his favorite customer, by the way. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that with us. It only takes one slot. We can sell this. I just got to let the stash for now. It's safe with me. Promise. Any damage you deal. Okay, so then. So does that count? Like, say, <coughs> excuse me. So if I throw a bomb and it hits five enemies, does, that doesn't count as five attacks, surely. It would just be one attack, well, surely. Did they like our housewarming gift? I killed the man in charge by the name Shanks. You work fast. I like that. That's what she more said. Of that for what's coming next. Darius Cronley. Last I've seen his face, they almost hung him for a double homicide. The warden intervened at the last minute in favor of a life sentence in Devil's Crossing. Seems there were ulterior motives after all. Darius Cronley is the devil made manifest, devious and manipulative with a penchant for sin of every kind. He's the one running this gang, and he's the one we need to go after next. We have to hit them hard and fast, leave no room for a counter-strike. I've only seen a portion of their operations in the region, but they are really entrenched on the four hills in Old Arcovia. Shank surely wasn't Darius's only lieutenant, so I suggest you find the rest and kill them. We don't want one of them taking over after Darius is dealt with. I don't have any names for you, but they will probably have equally clever prison names as our dead friend Shanks. But to really end this, you need to cut off the head of this operation, Darius Cronley. If what I hear is true, you will find him hiding out in the mines underneath the four hills. Lastly, my scouting partner, Elsa, must still be out there with them. If I venture to guess, Cronley has her in his clutches. Save her from that brute. I hear you are quite capable, so don't let me down. When you find yourself out there, I recommend you seek out a man by the name Quaid. He and his group forsook the peaceful ways of the rovers in favor of fighting back against the outlaws. And I'm glad they did. It was Quaid's people that pulled me from the jaws of death. Uh, do we also get in to start the reactor or just the prison thing? Okay. Because Quaid starts the prison react. Never mind. Just forget it. Oh, wait. We get that gem out of there. Oi! Iron well spent. All right, let's go. Well, it's just for the hell of it. Get that gem out. Be safe out there. That's all I know is safe. It's my my middle name is Safety. Last name Dance. So it does count. So every single time I do damage, it counts as an attack. That's crazy. So these pipe bombs or these canister bombs are going to be even better because it does damage like in an area and then does damage again in a wider area. Crazy Town, USA. That's nuts. A good kind of nuts. We're full again anytime soon here. That's why it pays to show yellows. Level 42 found 16% Caspi gloves with PlayStation Network resist. That's pretty good. Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Oh, I see the little brimstone popping out. It's definitely happening pretty well. I mean, with obviously the, the uh, set we've used so far has not been much, but bam. If they could actually get close to me, this would be dangerous, or this would be dangerous for them. I, I still love that they drop items themed to the, the type of creatures they are. I know that you can't do that all the time. It just wouldn't make sense. Uh, but I love that it's doing it now. That's really cool. Uh, wait, this is where we came in, isn't it? Right? I'm almost positive. Yes, let's go out the other way. I mean, I know it just leaps around, but it does seem to proc pretty damn often. Oh, sorry, I heard something. It was just a cat eating. 
She might come lay next to me if she uh, deems me worthy. Oh, hello, bees. I could definitely see that being useful for a melee class. Absolutely. Like, or like even better for them. Bristly fur. Sounds like the name of like some old Wild West guy. Bristly fur. Go talk to him if you need help learning how to trap the creatures of the West. Pilgrim. I don't know. Jelly. Ooh, Monster Slayer Achievements. Like my dad's nickname? Eh, it kind of does. Got a weird nickname. Uh... Okay, we'll go up here and to the left. Now if the enemies could just get close enough to suck up my proc. Crumbling watch. You can't even tell the time with it. Hey, oh, I'll be here all week. Tip your waiters. Yeah, this game is pretty cool so far. I'm quite digging it. I did, I, like I say, I, I think now I think the difficulty is getting about where I wish it would have been. About three-ish hours ago. That doesn't mean it's not been fun, but it's been in, like a little bit too easy. Like now, like I'm actually having to kind of watch my health a little bit, which I like. Cause I mean, it's not it's not fun to me at least to like, or it's not as fun to just like run in and blow her thing away. Oh. That skill's not ready. Your face isn't ready. Fucking talk. Oh shit, that thing's still, uh, still that there. Not ready. I thought that one blew up too. I really also like the idea of getting. I like the idea of getting skills on your items. Even if it's a passive skill, like 5% chance on attack to do this. Yeah, exactly. It's getting, getting enjoyable for people who are expert video game players like myself. As seen by how, like how uh, much too long it's taken me to get through Cuphead. That game definitely needs some kind of uh, like tracking, like that you see in Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us, where you can see how long it takes people to beat bosses. That'd be pretty neat. Like. How long it took them, how many attempts. That kind of information would be really cool to have. More I think I just think generally more games should have that. Like Heroes of the Storm does that too. Like when a match is over, it'll tell you, like, oh, you did, you know, ten percent more damage than players playing the same class on this map. Like that kind of stuff is cool to know. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see stuff like uh, like going with the build that increases cast speed could be fun in its own right. But most of our damage comes from the bombs, which have a fairly low uh, a fairly low um, recast. Like it's not something I can just recast over and over again. Uh, hello, pleased to meet a friendly face out here. Bandits don't usually grant us the courtesy. 
Since you're traveling these parts, I was wondering if you could help us out. Our, <coughs> excuse me, our elder, Matthias, has gone missing following a recent raid on our camp. The elder was determined to keep our talisman, a precious relic of my people, away from their greedy hands. And so he fled into the nearby ruins when the bandits showed up. It's been several days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Please, if you find yourself exploring the ruins west of Staunton Mine, seek out Elder Matthias. If it is as I fear and the Elder is dead, please at least recover the talisman. It's a small object carved from bone and carries great spiritual significance to us. We'd be eternally grateful for its return. Greetings, stranger. A pleasure to meet someone who doesn't begin a meeting with weapon. Can't say the name. Can't say the same for the gang up the hill to the east. Violent and bloodthirsty murderers, all of them. Everything we despise in this world. And now they've set up a barricade along the road to trap travelers such as ourselves. We set up camp here while we decide what to do. The best course of action would be to blow that barricade, allowing our brothers and sister of the road to travel in peace. However, we lack the means to do so. Say, you look like a capable sort. Let's make a deal. Staunton Mine to the west of here is abandoned, but it may have some explosives. If you recover some dynamite and use it to destroy the wretched blockade, I can offer you some coin for your troubles. What do you say? Hey, more dynamite. Use Fire Blast? Which one's Fire Blast? Or is that a, uh, well, that's the Ar is it Ar Arcanus thing? Because I don't think I have, ooh, Thermite Mine. That just sounds fun. What does this one do again? Drop a tree of small but deadly power technic charges that sear enemies with intense flame. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Like, that would be good to, like, start a fight. Like, when enemies start not dying before they get to me, drop those mines and then pull them in. Haha, <laughs> die, juveniles. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, it's a granted skill from a searing ember component. Ah. Yeah, see, I don't know enough about all that. Like, yeah, I'm just kind of like winging it. But I'm having fun. And that's all that really matters, isn't it? No, it's not. That's what losers say. You gotta be efficient at all times. Well, marginally efficient. Ooh bridge oh i think he did say it was west right well west is left but <laughs> i just love watching like the two major explosions and it's like hey there's still enemies alive and then that second explosion kicks off and <laughs> kills the rest that's awesome but yeah i'm definitely enjoying this so far and I, I really like how cheap it is to respec. The wasp caves, apparently. Oh, the maggot caves. I hated that shit in Diablo. But mostly because my main was like a necromancer. Like a summoning necro. Oh my god. The maggot caves were terrible to try to navigate in. Because you had all these, like maggots in there with you fighting the other maggots i can't do that and i'm sure it was horrendously disgusting to be a part of get racked need to vacuum up the loot button Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be the mine where we can get dynamite. I like the floor. The way the, the floor looks. Like where the wa these wasps have been. That's pretty cool. It's a cool effect. It is a nifty effect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Gax, relax. I'm in peace. Just kidding. Fucking die, bitch. We can negotiate over your corpse. I don't know why I healed. Because I was like, oh, let's save Constitution. Let's get that in mind. But there's, like, food right there. I'm not going to eat it yet. In case I need it later. I doubt it. But Ooh, we got dynamite. Hey, guys, relax. I can't do that yet. 
What? Why? All right, enough of that. Glagerberg. Man, we got some rations from that chest too. You don't need your well cooked food. Yeah, maggot layer. That place that sucked. Alright, you need to... Wait, what? Oh, shit. Run, asshole. I was like, where do I... Where did I come from? Oh, he's like, he's a boss. I was like, what the hell? Why is he doing so much damage? That was a bad time for you to trigger that ability, bitch. Yeah, I, I got lost. I was like, wait a minute. Didn't I come this way? Guys, relax. Just stand on bombs you. and get wrecked. And it'll all be fine. For me. Got a blueprint. Got two dynamites, too. Now, if I could just remember those other places that I need it, I'd be set. But I don't. So here we are. Yeah, the maggot layer was like the one place I'd want to co-op with a necro. Oh yeah, I could use the blueprint now, I guess. Go ahead and do this too. <laughs> Damn it. Did the uh Did the bandits like strike a deal with the bees? Like the bees would leave them alone. But the band, I don't know what would the bandits do for the bees though. Provide them with honey? I don't even, like, I don't even know how this would work. I don't think, I also don't think it's that kind of bees. Place is getting owned. Royal jelly. Yeah, they make jelly. They give ah, so the humans bring them bottles to put the royal jelly in. That makes sense. So they can jar it and preserve it. Uh, actually, there's a place to the south I didn't check. Let's go do that. You never know what could be down there. It could be the best rifle that could last me the rest of the game. And I could have missed it just because I wasn't being thorough. No, I'm saying the the bees provide the honey. But the the bandits get them jars to put the honey in. Oh, see there's a named. I can't do that yet. Oh, well, maybe not. I thought there was. But apparently there was not. I thought he had some kind of little aura around him. Oh, that was totally not worth it. But hey, we had to know. I was thinking it, though. It doesn't matter what I said. What matters is what I was thinking. You guys should know what I'm thinking. Definitely need a sprint. Well, maybe not. Liking the environment so far, though. Be interested to see what else they got. Hey, how you doing? Uh, hold on. Oh god, I can't do that yet. Oh. Thank you for the uh, seventy-five bits tally. Cat is not in the bed. Wow, she's just sitting in the middle of the floor. She does know. She's like, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to lay in the floor. It's not even comfortable. I've got, like, 
four comfortable beds that I could sleep in, but I'm not going to. Good. <laughs> Excuse me, because I am an asshole. Like, that's not even a place in the floor she normally, like, lays, either. Oh, there's a detonation site. So is this the one he wanted us to detonate? <clears throat> I kind of feel like it's not, because they were, like, down here. Well, we got two things of dynamite, so screw it. And I can get more. Blockade was clearly put up by local bandits in the hope <clears throat> of slowing down unaware travelers. Destroy the hell out of it. Who cares? We can get more. Probably. Unwary traveler, that assholes. Uh, yes, okay, so that was the one he wanted us to clear, because now he wants me to go back to him. Which I actually will make my way <coughs> Excuse me, damn. I'll make my way back to him. Sort of. In a roundabout way. A sadist. My physics, no! You know, one day they're going to develop like an engine or figure out the technology to not ragdoll so that when enemies die, they'll actually die in like a realistic way and not like suddenly lose like muscles and physics and whatever it is that makes them all freak out and go wiggity when they die. And it's going to be a sad day. It will be a sad day. <laughs> nope, I don't hear nothing. And turned around to have a Granado in the face. The hell? Hey. There's only one room in this town for one Granado throwing ombre. And in, and in case you didn't guess, that's me. Yeah, but I thought maybe there would be multiple barricades. Like, maybe there's multiple that, that you can break out for, ready. like, faction or some other reason. Just to be a nice guy. Ah, oh, ten more bits. Thank you very much, Tally, for the ten more bits. Much appreciated. Ah. I heard they uh, extended the sub timber thing, but I don't know how much. Or like, like how long they extended it. Uh, was your venture successful? Yes, I destroyed the barricade. 500 iron, rover strap. Oh, and expand the size of your inventory. Nice. Always take that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's finish clearing up here, because we're probably going to draw the stream to a close here in the next 10-ish minutes. I don't want to check this up top. Through 1018. Ah, okay, so October 18th. They've extended September. So, FYI, if you know what September was, basically you can subscribe to uh, any channel that well that you can subscribe to for half off for like a month. So like normally it's like what five dollars a month. Uh, so you could sub to a channel for one month for two fifty. Now obviously when it re reoccurs, it goes back to normal price. But um, yeah, it's everything is half, and like they're all half. So even was it? It's the highest tier, like 20 or 25. So you can actually sub to them for like uh, one month for half price, which is cool. I like that they're being very proactive in how to like try to get people to do subscriptions and bits. Because they had a sale on bits like a month ago or so. 
Hey, Vez Relics, and following is free, of course. So definitely make sure to follow if you'd like to uh, check out further streams. But thank you uh, for the follow. I stream... Uh, I, I really need to update the Twitch page with this information. But currently I stream on Thursdays and Sundays. Thursday's stream usually starts around 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Saturday usually starts around 3. Uh, the ending time varies a lot on Sunday. Honestly, it just kind of depends on what else I got going on. If I don't have much going on, I'll stream for like a long time. Like, I've streamed like 6 to 8 hours before. But, uh, ooh. Oh, there's Elder Matthias. Let's go, uh, let's go rescue him. Then we could probably wrap up. But, um... But yeah, but typically it's probably going to be around four to five hour streams. I try not to do like really short streams. Like I consider short three hours or less. I try not to do that if I can help it. Like unless I have a really good reason. I can't do that. Good job, the undead. You really got me. Oh, let's, let's go focus on this. Oh. God, so much explosions. As there should be with this class. This old man hanging out with the undead. Oh shit! It's actually doing a lot of damage. Wasn't really paying attention. I'm used to like being able to get hit and not have to worry about it. Uh oh! Please, stranger, take this talisman. I carried it away from my camp to prevent bandits from stealing it, but nature has passed judgment, and I am not long for this world. I implore you, bring the talisman to Greven. He is at Rover Camp, just east of Staunton Mine, in the Arcovian foothills. Tell him that I die protecting our relic. I'll tell him something like that. Alright, so let's clear this area out, and then I'll go take this back. <laughs> Nature's taking its toll. You mean these hordes of the undead? Did they have anything to do with this? He's like, no, actually, that was just coincidence. I just coincidentally had a stroke. The skeletons weren't even around. I can't do that yet. I think I missed that guy like three times. Oh, okay. I thought that circled back around. All right, so let's set the portal. And we'll go to that. Then we should be able to pop right over there. Then we'll head to town and we'll wrap up. Any luck in your search for Elder Matthias? I'm sorry, I found the Elder. Ah, great loss for our people. Elder Matthias died all he did all he could do to keep our talisman from bandit hands, and it seems he had given his life to preserve his duty. Tell me, did you find the talisman on him? <laughs> you can actually lie about it. Yes, actually, here it is. At least his death will not be in vain. Thank you. The return of the talisman will lift the spirits of my people. <laughs> Is it me or does it sound like he's eating the thing? Hello, kitty. What is it? She's like tapping my hand like, hey, you haven't paid attention to me in like an hour. It's a good relic if you keep it. What kind of dirty dog would keep that relic? Come on now. Have some decency. But how good was it? Maybe I should have kept it. All right. Oh, man. Good timing. We just about to run out of space. Two-handed hammer. I want to do two-handed hammer builds more. No reason. I just like hammers. Uh, so same cunning. We get six offensive, six aether resist, 15% chance of 31% reduced attack speed retaliation. Okay, so explain one thing to me, uh, Vez, or uh, anyone else who knows. 
Uh, under here... No, wait. Actually, you know what? Let's tell you where I was seeing it before. That I was uh, unsure. Okay, so this. Where it says, 20% reduced attack speed retaliation for 3 seconds. So, does that mean that whenever an enemy attacks me, they have a 20% reduced attack speed for three seconds, like automatically. So I, so I can be clear on that. That's what I'm assuming it means. What was I looking at? The gloves? No. Oh, this. When you are hit, not a dodge or a miss, yes, they have reduced attack speed. Okay, so with this, then, there's a 15% chance that it will reduce their attack speed by 31% for 5 seconds. Which is okay. Again, I shouldn't be getting hit a lot. Uh, it's got worse armor, though, than the one I'm wearing. I do like the offensive, and the 2.5... Health regen is pretty weak. So yeah, let's just use this one instead. And it's green. And I'll admit I'm biased. They want to wear it more because it's rare. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and there's a blue chest, though. 10% uh, cold damage, 33 cunning, 5% night speed. Or 5% night speed? 5% to attack speed, plus 2 to night's chill. Yeah, 15% chance is pretty low. I mean, because I shouldn't be... Like, if I was a warrior and running in and getting hit a lot, then yes, I would say that that would be more worth it. I'm not saying it's bad. But for me, I shouldn't be getting a lot, period. Like, anyway. Uh, so, I mean, even without that ability, I'd say compared to the other chest I was wearing, this is overall better, even without that. Uh, but there's this. I just want to see what this looks like, regardless. Huh, that's interesting. But, um, yeah, I like the 33 cunning. That's pretty good. Because right now I've got, like, 15-ish from that. So it's, like, 15-ish more cunning. But I'm not really doing cold damage, so that wouldn't help much. And 5% attack speed wouldn't really help this build particularly, so... Uh, no on that... Yeah, I'm definitely starting to see where, like, gear that I should be able to wear is requiring more and more physique. Eh. So I am going to start having to put physique up, whether I want to or not. Oh, relax, kitty. She's sitting in my lap now. Being a good kitty for once. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing that I'm using a lot more energy, too. But I think that's because my, my bomb is maxed out. My uh, Granado is maxed. So it's using up more more uh, energy. Uh, let's see. 15 Physique, 12 Cunning, 12 Spirit. Uh, we lose a little bit of Offense, Ability, and Defense. But I like the Physique and the Cunning. The armor is exactly the same. Uh, what's our hit? Where's our hit points? Health. Only like 40 hit point difference. And the defensive ability difference isn't very much either. So yeah, it's a pretty close one. I'll keep the one we got. Because the, the defense bonuses we get from that, it seems very small. Insight. Uh, oh, right. That's the... Oh, oh, so we have a, like a helm. Okay, so here's another question, Vez. So I already have an item that gets this thing, the insight. 2% chance on attack, it triggers insight. So if I have two items, where if I'm wearing two items that have insight, I know that insight has, says it has a 12-second skill recharge. So can the hat trigger insight? And then after it runs out, while it's still on cooldown, can say, like, the pants then trigger insight. See what I'm saying? 
So like, even though the insight trigger is cooling down on the hat, could it then trigger on the pants? I'm going to guess no, but I'd be curious what you say about that. Uh, anyway, let's see what the hat stats are. 7% uh, elemental damage, 101 health, 4% spirit, 8 offensive ability. I mean, uh, 7 offensive ability, sorry. Oh, no, my, my, I was reading out the wrong thing. Um, so it's worse in most ways, except for that insight. They can also proc at the same time. Uh, I'm trying to go pretty heavy electrical. So 50% is pretty good. I think I'm going to use this hat for a while and try it out. Oh, yes. And it looks better. That pretty much sells it. But I'll keep this hat. Again, I don't think it's really going to make that much of a difference. We're not playing at a difficulty like high enough that it's going to make that much of a difference. But, but yeah, I'll hold on to that hat. Um... Didn't I get rid of something that had a gem in it? Yes, this armor. So this and this we're going to hold on to. Everything else gets sold. Come see what's left of my wares. Everything must go. I don't want pistols. I want rifles. I don't know why I'm so against pistols, but apparently I'm against rifles on this character. Uh, did we look at the metal? Oh, we did, and I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep this hat just because it looks better. Like, stat-wise, they're pretty close, but looks-wise, obviously, this one wins out. Need something broken down? Yeah, I mean, a 25% increase is definitely nothing to... to uh, snooze, snooze at? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. All right. Be safe out there. You be safe. Don't tell me what to do. You're my boss. Be safe out there, ass. I will not be safe if I don't want to. Got something you need stashed? Who the hell do you think you are? You're not my mom. Uh, we'll keep the dynamite. Obviously, we'll drop this helm off. Okay. I'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye out for you. All right. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, stop here. Thanks, guys, for coming out. Another good stream today. We made some pretty decent progress. We finished what I would consider to be Act One, I guess. Uh, we're moving on to the west side, which is cool. So is this the entire map, by the way? Oh, God. Oh, holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, God. It just keeps going. That's what she said. There's an area over there, too. Oh, and wow. Holy crap. Oh, no. That's just, that's just that. Okay. That's still a lot of area to go through. Holy cow. We got a long ways to go. Nice. Because at first I thought the left side was going to be as big as the right side. And I was like, oh, it's not really that big. But but anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for coming out. Again, I typically stream uh, Tuesday or, yeah, Tuesday, no, Thursdays. Thursdays and Sundays. So uh, Thursdays around 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Sundays around 3 p.m. Eastern. But, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching, and uh, oh, let me uh, do a host. I almost always forget the host. But anyway, for YouTube folks, I'll see you guys next time.